Hey boys and girls, this is Dr. Vu. Just want to say thank you so much for the letters from Kindness Week. I read them all and wanted to say thank you. They mean a lot to me. Since many of you still watch videos on Bronco stories, I figure I'd respond to you right here. It's been a while and I miss you. I miss seeing your faces and hearing your voices. I miss walking around campus and hearing you laugh at our assemblies when someone would get the hat prize from my garage. I'm glad to hear that you're doing well and working hard. I know that your teachers, Mrs. Stevenson, Mrs. Devine, and the rest of the staff are working hard to keep you safe, happy, and learning. The most important thing for you to do is your best and to continue to be kind to one another. You know, the things I've talked about a lot when I was your principal. Some of you have asked what I've been up to, so I wanted to take this time to share with you what's been happening in my life this year. Some good things, some great things. I've been taking care of my daughter, Kate. She's in the fifth grade, and I take her to school, pick her up, and make sure she has all of her work done. I even make lunches and volunteer in her class once a week as a room dad. Kate and I do a lot of art together. I like to watch her practice jujitsu. Do you have any fun things you like to do outside of school? I hope so. If not, find something. Ride bikes with your friends in the neighborhood. Learn to cook or bake. Since I have more time this year, I travel whenever I get a chance. It's great to go to different places and learn how different and awesome the world is. It's always a good thing to see how other people live. What's your favorite place that's not antelope? Can you promise me that when you get older to go see the world and travel and meet new people? This year, we drove out to San Francisco and Oakland a lot. That's where I used to live before coming out here. We went to Los Angeles. Las Vegas, the Grand Canyon, we traveled to Oregon, we went to Hawaii twice. We almost went to Paris, but found out the day before the trip that Kate's passport had expired. So we had to reschedule to this April. And we'll go to Mexico this summer. Things aren't always good though. I've had some problems with my heart, and I've had to have some surgeries to, to fix it. I hope they work. But in the meantime, I'm still trying to get healthier. Sometimes I don't understand why my heart isn't working as good as everyone else's, but I guess I can't worry about it too much. I always think about the things I can control and things I can't. Then I work hard on the things that I can control. I'm eating better, I'm exercising more, and I'm running too. I'm sure there are things in your life that you feel sad or stuck about. The best thing you can do is think about the things you can control and do your best to make them better. Oh, and one last thing. You know our idea of Broncos Read? The idea that reading is one of the most important things you will do for the rest of your life? The idea that reading can allow you to see the world without ever leaving your house? The idea that your own stories are important and make this world a better place? Well, I've been going around the country this year talking about you and our ideas about reading. I've been telling teachers and principals from other schools about our school. I've been writing about our story and guess what? People are listening and they are amazed at everything you're doing. From the reading lounges to the little free libraries around Barrett Ranch, people love your story. Anyway, I better get going. It was nice to talk to you again. It feels like a long time in some ways, but in many ways, it feels like a blink of an eye. I wish you the best. I'm always rooting for you, and I hope to see you soon. Bye, kids.